I had planned to wear blue, but, uh, uh, but I, I am wearing blue, but it's a kind of a pale shade of kind of, kind of a sky blue. Uh, these two, as usual, I mean, I mean, authors know exactly how to do it. The editor doesn't always. Uh, uh, and they've got it bang on right. I'm so happy about it. Um, before we start, I wanted to hold up a copy. I, I can't, I have only two hands, so one, one, one hand is holding the mic. Yeah, if you'll do that, that'd be great. So, the blue scarf, um, the blue women, and that's, that's what this uh, session is about. They're, they're two brilliant collections of uh, short stories, and we'll talk a little bit more about them in a bit. I, I should, um, in, in terms of full disclosure, I mean, you heard my bio. Um, I am executive publisher at HarperCollins, and I have the privilege of publishing both of these books and working with the, uh, these two very fine authors. So I, I have a bit of a vested interest in, in this session, which, um, which I'm actually very thankful for. So, um, so OK. I made some notes because I tend to um, forget uh, where I was going with my train of thoughts. That's um, long years in publishing have uh, muddled my brain somewhat. So, so um, the blue women, um, the blue scarf, apart from the similarity in titles, which is why I think uh, we also have this session called the blue, um, there are many similarities b uh, between the two books. But uh, one of the things that I do want to uh, start with is uh, the, the stories are about many things, and they're, they're all set in contemporary India. Uh, but one of the things that struck me, which, which is a common chord, is, is that the, book, the two books deal with the lives of women uh, in significant ways. Uh, not every story is centered on a woman character, but women play, uh, the women characters play a very significant role in, in the narrative in, in virtually each and every one of the stories. Now, I wanted to ask both of you, I, I wanted to start with that, that uh, how did you think of, when you were writing the story, these are of course collections of stories, these are not, a, this is not a novel, so there are dissimilarities between the stories as well, but when you were constructing the worlds of these stories uh, and, and the themes that you were looking to, to capture and, and represent, um, how, what, what were the thoughts that were going into it? Uh, were you looking at a specific segment of society? Were you looking at a particular kind of story, particular kind of narratives? Um, anu, if we can start with you and, and uh, then we'll, we'll move to one of you. Thank you, Udayan. Uh, first of all, uh, blue, the color blue. Blue is the color of infinite possibilities. Blue is also the color of so many gods in Indian uh, Hindu mythology. Uh, so that's how blue. And blue scarf is a metaphor for something which you will know when you read the, sto the title story of the book. Uh, hence, blue. As for uh, if there was specific theme or some, uh, uh, it, these, are, these are all stories which were, for me at least, they were written over years. Uh, but the one thing which ran, uh, which was which which was running common in all these stories, were the possibilities. So these were uh, women. A, a lot of these stories are seen are written from the uh, perspective of a woman, uh, really purely because I'm inquisitive and I'm a woman myself. And uh, there's so many narratives which are around us. We're just picking them up, and we are also trying to make sense of the world around us from that perspective also. So. Uh, what struck me when I was like when I was working with the, those stories was every story, every character was leading to um, infinite possibilities. There were there's so many. So when when uh, one is making a choice, a character is making a choice after a moral dilemma or any complicated decision that she has to take, there are several possibilities. And what is driving that choice that she's making is actually each story is about. Uh, so that's uh, that's where I was coming from when when I was putting these stories together. So that's in that sense, that's the central theme of the blue women. 
Uh, so, as Anu said, the stories have been written over a period of time. It was very interesting because I was writing these stories between 2016. Uh, so the oldest story in the collection is from 2016 and the newest is from 2021. I sent them to Rahul, who's my editor, and to Udayan, and I did not tell them the chronological order they were written in or anything, but um, the way the stories were selected, there is one story from each period. I consider um, writing short stories as like wrestling with my favorite form, uh, which is the short story form. And from each bout uh, I had with the short story form, and I came out worsted, um, in my very wise editor and um, publisher picked a story. So I don't think I was consciously writing with the theme in mind because they are works written over a period of time. The only common thing, uh, thread running through these stories is they have one writer, <laughs> me. Um, however, you know, we are not the same person, right? We change and therefore, um, if you um, read the book, you'll see the stories also change. Um, blue is the color of water. Yeah, we survive um, on water. We can live without food, but not water. Blue is also the color of poison. Um, and um, those are the two bookends, um, nurturing and destroying that the color blue, blue represents to me. And um, if you read the title story of the collection, You'll, you'll notice the prevalence of blue both as something that gives life and that also causes death. So, um, so yeah, I also my stories have narrators or main characters who are not women. So there's several stories with, you know, from a teenager boy's perspective or from a man's perspective, and they're not set in any specific strata of society, so like I said, um, no common theme except um, weirdness. They are a little weird. Thanks. Uh, you mentioned, I think, uh, that, that your favorite uh, form of writing is, is the short story, and Anu, of course, also specializes in the short story form. So, so I, I wanted to ask both of you this, that is, is this a conscious choice uh, that, that you prefer? Uh, so Anukriti has, uh, you know, two novellas out, uh, Dora and Bhauri, in English, that is, she, uh, that, uh, that is. Uh, she also writes in Hindi, uh, and, and a novel called Kinsuki. Uh, but that's also a short novel. She, she doesn't seem to want to do very long form narrative, which I think works great, but I wanted to hear it from, from Anukriti and then from Anu. That it, is, is the short story form something that particularly excites you, do you think? It, it is right for the kind of story you're trying to tell, the, the kind of slice of life that you're trying to represent. Uh, what, what excites you about the short story form? So um, I, I think the first thing that excites me about the short story form is its versatility. There are, you know, from a length of say 3,500 words to 10,000 words, still a short story. You can do so many things in, within that number of words. You can, um, you, know, you can take people to another world. You can root them in the present time. You can do um, a historical short story within that, within that limit. Novels provide you a lot more scope to digress, to set scenes, to um, set up characters. They provide you greater freedom. But, and that's just my personal feeling, and you know, I, you know I write novels and I'm trying to work on a big project, so don't hold this against me. But I think they also give you an opportunity to be a little bit wasteful, right? You can, you can do things which you, you're doing because you're a writer and you love to go down little um, unknown pathways and see where they lead you. In short stories, you don't have that. You have to limit yourself, you have to be disciplined, you cannot wander far away however much you might want to. And therein lies, I think, the strength of um, a storyteller. I I'm not saying my short stories, I mean, Anu's are definitely very uh, powerful. They encapsulate lives of women. When I read it, I had the good fortune of reading it before it was published. Uh, and I uh, felt 
the, the way the brief uh, moments she has captured, the brief moment which define women's lives and experiences. I, I'm not saying mine do the same thing, but this is what I want to do. I want in limited words to convey what I saw, to distill it in a way that is also a bit unknown to me, but to distill it effectively. And if they speak to you of, um, of an experience or of a life or a moment in life, then I would feel that my labor has been rewarded. And uh, yeah, that's, that's why I love short stories. Anu, how about you? First of all, I actually started writing short stories. I mean, I start. I became a writer by writing short stories. So that was a natural. That was the first uh, natural instinct. I mean, I just. The second thing that really excites me is the diversity, the possibility of being able to tell so many stories. Um, a novel, of course, is um, it's it's strenuous. It's, it it requires a lot more discipline, um, in just purely because of the canvas that it requires. Uh, but here. You can stay with one character, with one particular plot, just just with in a very concentrated uh, uh, form, and it's also, for the lack of a better um, phrase, instant gratification. You know, <laughs> so you've written the three thousand words, three thousand five hundred words, or whatever. You know that okay, there's a sense of completion. And uh, personally, for me, it's important because I write in different formats. Screen write. I'm also a screenwriter. Yeah. And sometimes screenwriting projects take forever. They take any, anything between two years to five years, if, if you're lucky. So short stories are my safe space to go back to. It gives me, I mean, every time I feel like, oh, I'm forgetting to write, I go back to short stories writing. And um, a lot of these stories, before they got published, in fact, actually went to Anukriti. So strangely, we didn't even know our books were coming out at the same time. But we were constantly reading each other's works. And it, it was easy for us to discipline if we were writing. We, we knew that, OK, we had to finish this story and share with each other. So yeah, that's what short stories do to us. Gagar mein sagar bharne ka kaam. No, absolutely. It, it's, uh, the short story is uh, personally my, my favorite uh, form of, of writing. Uh, for contemporary audience, I, I also think it, it's uh, it's uh, something that I mean, not everybody has the time to sit and read a long form narrative, maybe over a weekend or something. Uh, stories from the Blue Scarf or the stories from the Blue Women, you can read one or two at a time, you know, before you go to sleep at night. Uh, perfect bedside reading. So um, it, that, that aspect of it has always appealed to me, that, that you can just keep delving in, into a book and reading a little bit and coming back to it without having to remember. I, said, I don't remember what happened in chapter one. I'm now in chapter 23 of a novel. So, so, um, yeah. Except mine are not good bed, bedside reading. Yeah. You might get bad dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we have very little time left, unfortunately. It's a really short session. Uh, would you, I mean, not everybody here has been able to uh, take a look at the books. I think you must if you haven't. I mean, they're really, really, uh, they're, they're great reading, both of them. Uh, would you, just for a minute each, would you like to talk uh, talk about your favorite story in, in, in the book so that the audience gets a sense of, uh, you know, the flavor of the books? Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I can't share my favorite story because I have not written it yet. So <laughs> it is, and Udyan knows this, this is, n none of the stories are my favorite. And I hate to, 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 to say this, but the stories are people on their own. Not all of them are likable. I do not set out to write li likable stories. I write whatever seems um, to belong in that moment when the story is happening. Um, if there's one story that I, I could recommend, and I'm doing this with a great deal of hesitation, perhaps the title story, The Blue Woman, um, for, for two reasons. One, it is, um, it is set in the city that I now call my home, that is Bombay. I was born and raised in Jaipur, and I have great love and affection for this city. Uh, my mother, who's an audience, lives here, um, and uh, so does my, you know, large part of my family, my sister, uh, my nephew. 
Um, but, but Bombay is home now, and the vastness of that city, the varied experiences that that city offers you, the joy, the miseries, the, um, the meagerness, the generosity, it's a megapolis. When you think of it um, as one city, it's difficult to, you know, to take it all in one go, to gulp it all down. And you have to break it in pieces. Um, you have to parse out your experience in little bits. And I try to take one bit of the lives of people in Bombay, uh, the people who live, who are not really visible, you know, a taxi driver. Um, they're not visible. You take taxis all the time in cities. How many times do we take the time to ask them, what are you doing? How's your life? What, uh, you know, what are your problems? What makes you happy? So, yeah, if there's one story I would like to recommend, it would be the Tal story. I know about what you... Uh, again, very difficult, but yeah, the title story also because it's, uh, it's uh, the c probably the best representation of what the all rest of the stories are about this one character who is in a difficult situation, but uh, instead of uh, raising slogans, uh, playing victim, she very quietly takes some brave steps which are, which are liberating for her. So these are the choices that women make around us in their everyday lives all the time. So therefore, she turned out to be my favorite character who I would one day want to take, like, you know, get courage from. And uh, yeah, she, that, so the blue scarf, the title story is probably that story that I would like to recommend. Thank you. Uh, I, I hope you'll uh, all uh, pick up copies of these books. Uh, they really are good. I, I wish we had more time to talk about them, but you know, you can uh, continue the conversations off stage. Thank you, Anu. Thank you, Anukriti. Thank you all for being here early in the morning. Thank you, Udayan, for such a, a good, being such a good moderator. Thanks, Udayan, and thank you, Teamworks.